honey blueberry oat muffins. Yummy. And I just got back from our family reunion. That's why I have the family reunion shirt on. Kind of cool looking for the Cox's honey. And we have a guest with us today. It's Brianna Weedman from Farm Fresh Las Vegas. Will you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, of course. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, for the past seven years, my husband and I have been traveling to Utah and California and finding farms uh, and picking fruit and bringing it here the day after it's picked. And so, yeah, it's a kind of a fun little business we've got. So she brought some blueberries here because the first time I made this, my husband had some blueberries here and then I had her blueberries. These were way better. <laughs> Just so, you so fresh. So we're going to start. It's super easy. Everything is very simple. So we put in a cup of flour, and you can use whole wheat, but everything's optional. Everything's optional if you have something different. I have all of the spices in here and one thing, and that is, you can help me with this. Uh, baking powder, cinnamon, baking soda, salt. I think that's all. Oh, okay. I love the coconut sugar. Okay, so the baking powder is one and a half teaspoons, half a teaspoon of the baking the soda. soda, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter okay. teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of the coconut sugar. Isn't that interesting that there's always less of salt of everything, but you need the salt on there. So this is the coconut sugar. We'll be sprinkling that on top at the end. So let's whisk this together really quick and reserve it a tablespoon. And something she just taught me is because we have to toss the blueberries in flour so they don't sink to the bottom. But she said you could do cornstarch, and actually we can use like a tablespoon of this. Yeah, I usually toss just here, I so. usually just take my dry ingredients, grab a couple. That way you don't have like more flour than you Right, need. and that, that's great for the you don't want to too much of anything. So we're gonna put the blueberries in. That was a cup of blueberries. Or it's just a little flat on them, so. It's about a cup. Yeah. Ish. We yeah. didn't measure. <laughs> I we may have measure been, it may have been more than a cup. That's okay. We like lots of blueberries. Okay. And while that's sitting right here, we'll set this over here. We're gonna do the dry, I mean the wet ingredients. So uh, let's see how see how everything's like coated. That makes it so it won't uh, sink down to the bottom of your batter. It'll, it'll stay in stasis and true fat. So we have one egg. I'm going to crack that and we will whisk that till it's frothy. So I'll let Brianna do that. And I want, and we'll add our wet ingredients after we get that frothy. Once you notice how light the honey is this year, it's actually a bumper crop that's just awesome. So I'm kind of excited. The lighter flavor, that's what everybody wants is that clover. Yeah. That's awesome flavor. I preheated the oven to 350. I have a convection oven. And something else I've already done is I have sprayed my little silicone. I'm trying to keep the environment healthy. Now, you throw away things. <laughs> we will put that in there. So it's all frothy. Okay, so we'll put in next the honey, honey. which is a fourth a cup. I'm going to use this. Yeah, that's okay. that's okay. I say the less dishes, the better. Yes. So we have a fourth a cup of honey, and I made that a little wet in the container a little bit before, just a little bit, so it just slides right out a lot easier. Another trick you can do is spray it with cooking spray. Oh, there you go. See, seasoned mom here. She has four boys and one girl on the way. Yay! Yay. So. And next will be a fourth a cup of the almond milk, and once again, you can use whatever you want. This is unsweetened almond milk. And then a cup of the Greek yogurt. Again, you can use any type of yogurt. Can you give me that special back? Yep. Okay. And then we have to wash one. <laughs> so we put all the wet ingredients, and as soon as that is mixed, we're going to add it to our dry batter. So it's one cup of yogurt. I think I said that already. Yeah. Oh, tea, uh, two teaspoons of the vanilla is okay. going to be added to that. Vanilla's the best. I know vanilla is. Mm -hmm. And this is actually from Mexico. My son-in-law, his mom is from Mexico. And every time they go there, they bring me, I mean, my, my whole pantry has like about five or six bottles. I am not That's kidding. Amazing. Because it's just, it's more of the real stuff. And my mom always said, you can never add too much vanilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like the vanilla lover. There you go. Okay. So as soon as that's mixed, then we're going to add to the dry ingredients. Really good, and actually, I can smell the vanilla from here. Do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin So it's nice and smooth now. We don't have any stray honey or any chunks of yogurt, so we can add that in. So as 
soon as that is combined, we will fold into the batter the blueberries. Then we'll spoon them in here and we will only bake them for 20 to 22 minutes. I sprinkle a little bit of the coconut sugar on top. Oh, I bet that makes them look nice. And all you have to do is just barely be <laughs> firm or stick a toothpick through and it comes out clean. Either one of those. So we'll be back after we spoon these in here and we baked it to eat the product. about five minutes and then take them out of the cupcake things and then you can keep them in an airtight container for five days or up to three months. Be sure to like and follow me and share this and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I had the recipe on all those places and Twitter and grandchildren did you find the bees in this video? <laughs> Look around really close. They're right in front of you. Have a sweet day. Oh.